Today we're going to talk about interior and exterior angles of triangles. So if you look here at this triangle, there's there's this big triangle here, but there's also two little little triangles inside of the big triangle. For instance, here's one little triangle. If we start at T and go to M and then over to D and then back to T, there's a little triangle in here. Whereas if I go from T to D and then go to X and then go back to T, I've made another little triangle. Or you can make the big triangle from T to M to X. This is a big triangle. So you two little triangles, one big triangle. All of these different triangles have interior and exterior angles. For instance, if we're just talking about this one right here, there are basically three interior angles. There's this angle here, which is an interior angle. There's this angle here, which is an interior angle, and there's this angle here, which is an interior angle. The exterior angle is a little bit more complicated. An exterior angle has to form a straight line with one of the sides of the other triangle. For instance, this side right here from T to X is not an exterior angle. From T to X is not an exterior angle because it doesn't make a straight line with any of the other sides. Whereas MD goes from here to here and it keeps on going, that makes this angle right here an exterior angle because this the MD keeps going on in a straight line all the way to the X to the K and keeps on going. So this one right here is an exterior angle because it forms a straight line with one of the sides, in this case MD. So that would be the only exterior angle for that triangle. So for instance, if we were talking about an interior angle of this triangle here, this triangle is MDT. So M to D to T and back to M makes a triangle. So they want to know an interior angle of that triangle. Well, there are, there are three options here. You have this angle here, this angle here, and this angle here. So either you could either say 4, you could say 1, or you could say 2. All of those answers would satisfy the condition of being an interior angle of M, D, and T. Or for instance, if you wanted to find an exterior angle, let's talk about an exterior angle of TDX. Here's T to D to X, and then back to T makes a triangle, and we're looking for an exterior angle this time, exterior. This means that it needs to form a straight line with one of the sides here. So we have one that goes this way, we have an exterior angle that goes this way, and we have an exterior angle that goes this way. They all, all these things form straight lines. So you have this one right here that forms a straight line with dx, makes forms a straight line with this one right here. And then there's this one right here that forms a straight line with, I'm sorry, this one right here that forms a straight line with dx keeps going all the way to k, so this angle right here is also an exterior angle. And then this angle right here is also an exterior angle, this one that goes from here over because it forms a straight line with Tx. All three of these are angles. So we could say either angle 2 could be an exterior angle, or we could say angle Txk, because from T to X to K is an exterior angle, or you could say angle P x d because p to x to d is also an exterior angle of this triangle right here. Remember however though that this angle right here is not an exterior angle. It could, since it's vertical with the 6 because they're on the opposite sides of the x, this one right here is not an exterior angle. You got to remember that. So if you look at this one here, we're talking now we're talking about mxt for number 3. So we have m to x to T. We have a big triangle this time. The only one that forms a straight line is either this one right here or this one right here. So you, you either have to pick this angle here which forms a straight line with it or this angle here also forms a straight line with it. These are the exterior angles of that one. Same thing with TDX. You have T to D to X. You have a exterior angle here, and you have an exterior angle that goes here. 
So either this one or this one would be good exterior angles for that one. And finally, we have remote exterior angles, I mean interior angles, to TDX. So we have T to D to X right here. Which one is a remote interior angle with respect to 2? So 2 right here is the exterior angle because it's on the outside of this triangle right here. There are two remote interior angles. Remote interior angles are the ones that are far away. It can't be the 3 because the 3 is right next to it. So either, it either has to be the 6 or the 5. They're both remote interior because they are far away from the 2. So you could either say angle 5 or angle 6 for that answer, and both would be correct. And that is a little introduction to the exterior angles and interior angles of triangles.